Yes. What it do, cuz, cuz? It's your cutty, Slick. And I'm here with another cool video. Yarra. Okay, today we're going to be taking a quick look and cracking open Philips Norielco Series 7200 Beer Trimmer with a Vacuum. Now this product right here, you get on Amazon.com for $58.99. So you're looking at 59 bucks. Now let's get straight into it. Yes, yes. Now here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Philips Norielco Series 7200 Beer Trimmer with a Vacuum. Now let's... Crack it open. All right, all right. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. A sip on brown box. Like y'all know what I mean? Let me bust out my joking knife. Ah, why so serious? <laughs> now let's crack it up and see what we have on the inside. All right, all right. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this. Just kind of curious about this vacuum beer trimmer. All right, all right. Oh, okay, inside. You got your instruction manual book and all your goodies. Okay, here goes a shaver itself. Let me put that to the side. What's this? Is this a carrying bag? Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. This right here is your Phillips carrying bag. See your name logo? All right, all right. Okay. Smell fresh and so clean. All right, we got a Q-tip. Don't know what that's for. I guess it's... Oh, oh okay. This is for to clean out the inside of the vacuum. Okay. Brush. Nice. Guard. All right, one simple guard. Another simple guard. Nice and small. And another small simple guard. You got your charging brick right here. To charge it up. When the battery gets low. And... We have another shaver. All right, look like your liner. Nice. Okay, okay, let me put everything back in the box. And let's take a closer look at the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> the beer vacuum cleaner. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Let's get this. Let's get this plastic off. Man, they really put it on there. All right, all right. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, not bad, not bad. Pretty cool. You got your right there where this where it sucks all the hair in. Okay, this is your. Okay, this is how you raise it up and down. Don't know if you can see it. All right, so you can do the levels. Let's see, it looks like the LED light right here to let you know if you need charging or not. Let's cut it on, let's have any juice. And of course, there is no juice. So okay, let me go ahead and, um, oh look, this is how you take off the blade. All right. Nice, okay. So let me go ahead and pause the video, put this on the charger. And we get back to it and uh yeah. Take a closer look at it. Gooey. Yes, yes. Alright, y'all, we're inside my bathroom. I got the fill up vacuum beer shaver all fully charged up and ready to rock out. Like you know what I mean. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do this with one hand now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put this in the test. We're gonna shave down some of the side of my beer, see if we can catch some hair uh, without it jumping in the sink, and also how close can you get with the shaver? Will this five o'clock shadow go away? We're gonna put it to a test, y'all. All right, here we go.
All right, y'all, as y'all can see, I shave a little bit off on the side. Now, if you wonder why I had a strange look on my face while I was shaving, look at this side. And then now look at this side. As you can see, I messed up with my lining. I wasn't expecting to really shave down like that so clean. Yeah, you know I mean? But since it did that, let's see if it caught any hairs. <laughs> here goes a, uh, here goes a, um, don't know if y'all can see it. Um, but it did catch some hairs. Hold on, let, let me go ahead and open it up and uh, yeah, we're gonna take a closer look. Can't believe I messed up on my goatee. Ugh, that's hurt. All right. All right, let's take a closer look, y'all. This is what we have right here. Don't know if y'all can see it. It did catch some hairs, as you can see. So that little bit I shit off on the side of my beard, it did catch it. Let me go ahead and pull out the guard. And as you can see, there's nothing in the sink. See my paper towel down, just in case. No hair is in the sink, so it did pretty good. So let me go ahead and empty it out. Let's see how to empty that, pull that out like that. And as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's see the hair. So the little hairs that I shaved off, it did catch. Put in the sink. Where well, I put in my paper towel. <laughs> All right, and there you go. You can see it down there below. So it does pretty good as for catching hairs. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Phillips Vacuum Cleaner Beard Shaver. Series, this one says Series 7000, but on mine it says Series, it says series 72. Wow. All right. There you have it, y'all. Gooey. Okay, now before I dip out and get into what I like and don't like about the Philips Norielco Beard Trimmer 7000, let me show y'all something. This is how I mess up on my beard. Now, I wasn't paying no attention. I don't think I got it on the highest setting. I'm in the safe zone with the guard on and I could slowly trim down my beard and Put it how I like it, you know what I mean? This is how I messed up, y'all. Check this out. When you twist the knob, do you see it? It's glowing. So I'm thinking I have it on the highest uh, shaver, which is 10, so that I could be in the safe zone, uh, trimming down my beard, you know, gradually, you know, bring the levels down so I can put the beard how I want it. It was set on 0 0.5. That's how I shave off my beard. <laughs> But <laughs> it's looking fine now. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, y'all. This is what my beard looked like even after my mess up with the Philips Norielco Beard Trimmer 7000. As you can see, I got too close. Almost shaved it completely off. So I trimmed this bad boy down to try, try, to, try to make it somewhat match. You know what I mean? Give it a couple of weeks and I'll be back in business. Be smooth pimping again. You know what I mean? With a little help of my auntie uh, hair growth serum called Savvy Shop. Now this product right here, you can buy from her online for 18 bucks for this size of a bottle. Now this is the big bottle. She does have smaller bottles. You can buy those for 10 bucks. This hair growth serum really does work. Check out her comments and reviews. Uh, cancer patients, they're reviewing it. Uh, that went through chemo. And uh, when they got done with the chemo, they used her serum and her, their hair just grew. <laughs> full again I mean fast and quick and it just it was longer than what it was before so it really does work I use it for my head I got real thin hair so I put on my hair now my hair grew a little bit longer and the parts I was thinning out it started to become more thicker I even try to be funny and use it on my beard saying eh, let me see if it really does work and make my beard grow and it does look how long my beard is it grew just like this it was longer than this and I trimmed it down to make it even so her serum really does work. So if you're interested in it, I'll put her uh, link in the description down below on where you can find her product. And uh, yeah, check her out. She even got um, skincare cream to get rid of uh, dark blemish on your, on your body and stuff like that. It's really nice, really nice. So with that and a little help of my Africa's best, bam.
I'm gonna be back in business in no time. Yarrami, gooey. Okay, now let's get into what I like and don't like about the Phillips. Noria Go Beer Trimmer 7000. Starting off, what I don't like. Now, what I don't like is that they lie on the advertisement. Now, as you can see, it says 7000, right? But online, it says Series 7200. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. Series 7200 Beer Trimmer, right? But on the box, it says 7000. And even on the shaver itself, it says 7,000. Series 7,000. So they lie about the advertisement. Uh, that's a false uh, advertisement on what type of shaver you're getting. You're thinking you're getting a new model, up or greater from uh, 7,000 to a 7,200, and you're not. You're getting the old deal. Yeah, you know I mean? Second, it's a uh, cleaning process. It's not a big hassle, but it's a hassle. Um, cleaning it out, if you don't, you know what I mean? You can, it's water that it says you can rinse it out with you know just go and eat the uh, sink of water and uh, wash out the blade and stuff like that but then by doing that you resting the blade you damage the blade even more faster you know what I mean so what I do I take a um, wet paper towel and uh, I just kind of I point out the hair I get the remainder of uh, whatever hair that's up in there and then when it gets down all the way at the bottom right here then I pretty much use a brush the toothpick and the brush clean everything else out the brush for the blades all right you get all the hair that's stuck on the blade this is for the inside so I kind of scoop out the rest of the hair and just brush it out of there yeah you know I mean now it's not gonna be a uh, brand new 100% smooth pivot clean again but it'd be clean enough yeah you know I mean you won't see all that nasty residue like you see right now all up in there and it was thick So, those two things are pretty much what I don't like. Overall, let's get into what I do like. Now, what I do like, the vacuum suction is extremely nice. It does get hit your hair. Now, I don't get all of it fully. I mean, a couple of little drops might get away from the uh, vacuum suction uh, here and there. But majority of the hair does go on the inside. And that's, man, that's, 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 it's a plus. I like that. Now, it don't get long, long hairs, but I'm talking about the baby hairs, you know what I mean, that can fit up in this groove right here. It, it, it's, it's in there. It's sucking right on up. The feel, when you shave, is nice. Um, I like how it shaves down. Uh, you can see how, how, how it really shaves, how I mess up on my beard. It really does, it really does its job. If, now, if you want to get a little bit closer to your skin, you want to use this shaver right here smaller uh, shaver and it does get more close to your skin and give you actually give you a better lineup so use that I use this for the beard if I want to uh, slim everything down but use this for the skin if you want to get a uh, closer shave and uh, come out somewhat smooth you know what I mean battery life on it is excellent I'm definitely digging that I'm definitely digging how the, uh, the measurement kind of glows and show you where you're at. I should be paying more attention. <laughs> and I want to mess up. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, yeah, it's a good um, beer, uh, vacuum shaver. <laughs> it's nice. So if you're looking for something that, you know, that you want to use uh, so you don't have so much mess in the bathroom uh, after you get done shaving, this right here, you will not be disappointed. It does its duty. And um, yeah, it's nice. Gooey. Shout out to everyone that's following me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shout out to everyone that's following me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel under Cuddy Slick. That's C U T T Y S L I C K. All one word, no space. And if you want to connect to my social network, just Google Cuddy under Gangsta Slick. That's G A N G S T A S L I C K. And shout out to everyone that follow me on SoundCloud, Snapchat, and the Gangsta Slick or Cuddy Slick. This Phillips No Realco Beer Trimmer 7000 is gooey. Hey, I like it. does its duty. It shaves down and cleans it up at the same time. It's nice, y'all. If you're looking for a shaver that leaves less mess in your bathroom, this one right here, it does its duty. Gooey. And before I go, ladies, fellas, 
Say it with me. You punk rock beats. Don't hate what I got. Just picture me rolling and watch I rock. It's your boy, Slick, and I'm out of beats. Yes, yes.